Hey, what's up everybody? Pin here. So bringing another tutorial to the channel. So in this video, you're going to learn how to play with a DualSense controller, otherwise known as a PlayStation 5 controller, natively on PC using Steam, and you are getting the PlayStation button prompts. Now, there's a few tutorials and information out there, but well, quite a few actually, about connecting your controller to your PC via Bluetooth wireless dongle. In this situation, I'm going to be using a direct connection. The charging cable that came included with the PlayStation 5, I will be using that directly here. Now, this is an extra controller here. Um, the actual control that I'm using currently is this black one. As you can see, it is on via this light source that's blue here. Pretty nice. Have it plugged directly into my PC, um, one of the front USB ports on my computer. All right. So first thing that you're going to have to do here, and I'm going to pull up this in a bit. All right. So first thing you're going to have to do here is go to store.steampower.com. You can also Google Steam, but basically I'm going to have the link in the description. You're going to want to install Steam, uh, create your account. Make sure, you know, as far as this is your first time doing this, just make sure you write everything down. I suggest you write something down on a notepad and then you have like a uh, cloud backup as well. Just so you have a backup to your information and get this um, downloaded and we're going to hop into Steam. OK, first thing you want to do here is once you is logged into Steam, you want to go into the client and click on Steam up top. It's going to be in the upper left hand corner of the screen and you want to go to settings. Now. Oh, wait a minute. All right, my apologies. I'm going to go to settings. What's it doing? It's acting glitchy. OK. And once you have the settings um, enabled, you're going to go down to controller and from here you're going to go to general controller settings and you want to make sure that the only thing you have checked is the playstation configuration support so if it's going to be your first time um plugging in your playstation 5 controller directly into your computer steam may do a firmware update it may or may not but Steam does have native DualSense support. So as you can see here, PlayStation configuration support, detect the controllers, PlayStation 5 controller. So you can come in here and, um, you know, you can play with the preferences if you wish. You know, I just have my, the default, you can change the light color in a controller as you're playing, the rumble preference, the LED slot, you can control the brightness and saturations. You can you can do all that from here. I'm going to cancel that out here because I already have mine. As you can see, as soon as you back out, it gives you that pop up. Very nice. So I'm going to exit out of this. But what you can do um, once you go in here, make sure this is checked. Just confirm everything and just back out. And you can press OK here. OK, now that's just the first step. Um, most people will stop at that step and figure that everything would be cool. There's actually an additional step that you would need to follow here. So you're going to have to have some games installed, you know, for you to test this out, actually, for yourself. So this is currently my library that you're seeing. This is my current backlog slash what I'm playing. I'm currently playing Demon Slayer, so I'm going to use this as an example. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go to properties. Oh, come on, don't. This will mess up while I'm doing a recording. <laughs> it usually doesn't display like this. Um, 
Okay, I'm going to have to pause this again. One moment. Okay, my apologies. I had to completely close Steam and restart it for this to appear again. So now I'm going to uh, right click while I'm hovering over the game banner that I have installed. And I'm going to go down to properties. Next, I'm going to go all the way until I see controller. You see where it says override for Demon Slayer. You know, that's the game that I'm currently playing. I want to go here and you want to make sure by default, it may say use default settings or you may see enable Steam input. If you have either one of these check, which by default is going to be one of these. What's going to happen is that your PlayStation controller is going to try to emulate an Xbox controller. So you may be getting those Xbox prompts, but you're using a PlayStation controller, which is it, it completely goes against why you're using the controller in the first place. So what you want to do is hit disable Steam input. Once you hit this, then you're going to you're going to see disable, disable. But the PlayStation is, is the only thing that's connected, that's ticked because the settings that we made in the prior step sort of goes hand in hand with this step, if that makes sense. So once you do that, um, you're all set. So I'm actually going to boot up the game and you guys can see on PC. <laughs> I don't have an Xbox. I'm not playing this on PlayStation. I'm going to have my PS5 hooked directly to my computer. I'm going to start this game up. There's my playtime so far there. Wonderful game. It's like reliving the anime. Now, the PC keyboard prompts are still going to appear, but watch this. Wait till that Steam logo. You see that? Oh, wait. Remote play together. But we'll we'll proceed on. You'll see it shortly. You'll see it shortly. All right, let's get into this. Let me lower the sound. So as you can see, I have the PlayStation prompts. R3, you know, circle. You can see here, down below, and everything works as expected. You know, because this is a wire connection, there's no lag, no latency issues or anything. So I'm going to back out here. Okay. And that sums up this video on how to natively use the PlayStation 5 or the DualSense controller with Steam on PC and you're getting those actual PlayStation prompts, which is very nice. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. If you knew about this prior, you know, let me know. Um, or what games are you currently playing? Was this helpful to you in any way? What would you like to see more of as far as the channel? Let me know about all that. You're free to also um, contact me outside of here through email. If you follow me on Twitter, that's fine. Until next time, peace out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.